Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velpa and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Cancer, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, Cancer. As well, when it comes to my tarot readings, I always love and appreciate it when you guys take the extra step if you do enjoy this reading to give this video a like and subscribe. Or honey, if you just enjoy my vibe, darling, in the hat for the day now. Now. Hello. Uh, I always appreciate when you guys like and give me likes and subscribes because it does help me out a lot and I don't know I just appreciate it. Um, but also remember Cancer to use your intuition when it comes to my readings because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you honey. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot cards here today Cancer are just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought as you go throughout your day, as you go throughout your week. Uh, now Ever making the choice in your life cancer because i believe it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so cancer now with all that being said darling let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading i want to see where it is you guys are currently at cancer in your life journey right now i know recently for the past few weeks cancer uh the cards have been really reflecting on this place of like letting go you guys uh cancer have recently just been releasing a lot going through a lot of shadow work Cancer, so I want to hopefully you guys are doing better this week. Let's see, honey. We have the balance card. Okay, I like this. The balance card uh, coming in. This is normally the justice card in normal tarot, Cancer. Archangel Zadkiel, number five for numerology. If if you would like to write that down, Cancer, to look up later to see how it correlates with your reading. As well as Archangel Zadkiel. If your spirituality, your belief system subscribes to a Cancer, Archangel Zadkiel is reaching out to you. A little interruption as well. I am doing actually a giveaway for you guys and for hitting 10,000. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, Away, I'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh, on their own personal reading, whether it's live or recorded. So all the information will be down below. It's a quick, simple process of joining my new Discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, let's get back into your reading, darling. This week, should you be open to connecting with them? Should you be open to working with them? Now, this card says, Cancer, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, as well as waiting for the perfect timing now now cancer you guys have been consistently having this card showing the justice card in general showing up in your reading that's why i kind of pointed out it's the libra card as well so i always will just do it just because i'm a libra uh scorpio cusp <laughs> cancer but um for me to see this card in your uh starting energy this is letting me know cancer that you guys are at the very least you're in this place of healing. You guys are finding a lot more balance right now. I do feel like you guys are still in this place of um, uh, taking things slow, which I don't think is a bad thing for you right now, Cancer. I feel like that is the best uh, way and obviously it reflects it just because you're finding balance in this way. But before I even start speaking too boldly, darling, let's get into some tarot cards uh, with this, Cancer. Let's see what insight we can get. So, Nine of Wands. So, you guys are already naturally Cancer, kind of seeing this for what it is. Um, very beautiful perspective you guys have going on right now, Cancer. So, this makes me really happy. You know, like, you're kind of very aware of the process and the life experiences you are currently going through right now. You understand that there's a bigger purpose to this. I don't know if you kind of just see where Spirit's trying to take you to, uh, Cancer, or you just have, like, this you know, just have like this sense of faith or understanding that you need to go through some type of character development and these struggles, because I do feel like you guys are like dealing with some blows each day and I'm seeing like a cancer that's just like <laughs> um, feeling just tired. I'm seeing someone that's just like breathing heavy and like they're not even like breathing heavy from like anything necessarily like medically wrong with them or even like because they've been working out or something cancer. I see just like almost like this breathing heavy just because it just the mental exhaustion that you guys are going through, the emotional exhaustion. You guys have been just purging a lot, I feel, Cancer. 
So we have the Magician card coming in here. So you guys are still, I enjoy this energy a lot um, for you guys. You guys are still ultimately always asking yourself the question each day, Cancer, of being like, you know, trying to make the best out of it, making lemons out of lemonade, right? Really in this place of creation and, you know, not falling into some type of spiral. So I celebrate you for that, Cancer. Um, we have the Ten of Wands, but you're still addressing like, you know, I do feel like you guys, Cancer, just need to have this acknowledgement from an outside source because maybe you guys are just so used to hearing people all around you being like, oh, Cancer, are you depressed? Oh, Cancer, what's wrong with you, right? When really right now you're just in this place of like silence, you know? And I feel some of you Cancers may relate to this when it's just like you, you experience some really bad pain, right? Or like you just stub your toe, honey. Like you stub your toe, darling, and it just is like the worst pain that you felt, right? And it's like the worst thing that can, and maybe it's just me personally, cancer but it's like the worst thing that someone can do is when i'm going through some pain and processing it is trying to have me talk because i need to focus all my energy honey on this you know on that pain so it's like you're silent like silently going through things you're silently processing things and some people may just be perceiving this right now cancer um as you like being depressed but no you're just like you're becoming increasingly present with the, your surroundings you're being extremely you're just taking things in, I feel. Taking things in and just naturally with this Ten of Wands, just releasing what you need to release. And yeah, this really is like the epitome of why you're breathing hard, darling, right? With this Ten of Wands coming in. I love that. Now that I'm getting that correlation. So um, now, Cancer, I want to see how this journey is going to continue on for you this week. Is that okay? Let's see. We have the Queen of Water coming in, Queen of Cups. I like this. This card says relationships developing into a new level, trusting your intuition, caring for yourself and others. Now, before I even start running my mouth on this card for you, Cancer, I want to see the complimentary card with it. Three of Fire, Three of Wands coming in here. Uh, this card says abundance, things looking up, or things are looking very good. Uh, have patience at this time and making long-term plans. Similar, Cancer, to uh, Scorpio. So I don't know if you have Scorpio in your chart. If you do, I would suggest checking out um, the Scorpio reading that I have up as well. So, uh, yeah, with this sense here, it feels like you're making a plan uh, with people in your life, Scorpio. Now, I said Scorpio, no Cancer, so now that's all that's in my head. It feels like you're making some, uh, some plans with someone in your life, Cancer. Like, I don't know, it's like this sense of like, you're about to like, you're planning like a road trip where you're planning to like, rent it, like be roommates with like a f dear friend of yours. Um, or you're planning like a trip with a friend or something. I don't know. I just feel as if somehow uh, you're making some type of plan in your near, and I feel like it's the near future with somebody. Um, because this Queen of Water, Queen of Cups shows to me this sense of being... Uh, being happy or just really enjoying the energies of others or being more vulnerable practicing a little bit more softer vulnerable energy um with somebody or somebody's darling uh so the hangs man in the reverse coming in here so this is an energy at one point was going nowhere right so rem i always want to point out as well cancers that when i speak about cups cups of water i always see this as an opportunity as well so this could very well be like it's a job or like a uh i don't know something that you had at one point you felt like was like a dead end something that was just not worth the energy investment and so with this queen of water here you're looking at this from a different eye and be like you know what i like this person over here maybe i was taking them from granted before and i'm opening up to them making plans very similar to uh scorpios now cancer i really do suggest if you have scorpio in your chart to check it out um but yeah, this is showing to me where you thought was just like a dead end thing. Was like this job wasn't going to go anywhere. This connection with this person wasn't going to be any deeper, right? Ten of Swords because the communication communication when the swords are in the uh, reverse like this, there's communication being brought forward, right? So something that was at one point like a dead end, you start seeing some shrivels of life in it, like some type of 
You get some type of impression that all is not lost with something. I may even just title your video this way. Cancer is calling you all is not lost with something. But I don't feel like it's with something, this other thing that you've been releasing. Scorpio, I feel like, not Scorpio again. Cancer, I don't feel like it's this other situation that you've been releasing for a while now. Cancer, that's disappointed you in the past few weeks. I feel like this is some other situation in your life that's been in your life but not playing a very relevant, strong role in your life, if that makes sense. And the Queen of Wands coming in here. So through this communication, you really start breaking, uh, it just really ignites something in you, Cancer, Four of Pentacles as well. So yeah, it's really honing in in the sense of like going back as before, it feels like you're doing like this new, planning like a road trip with somebody or planning on being like roommates with somebody, planning on doing like a job, opening up a business together with somebody. And you're really excited about this journey because this Queen of Wands is showing to me where it's just like, you feel like this is like the step in the right direction. Maybe you had like an opportunity, Cancer, something has shown up in your life or uh, yeah, shown up in your life where you have the opportunity to move to like a whole new town, whole new city or the opportunity. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what this is about, Cancer, because it's so interesting. So, uh, don't mind me. Anytime I start talking a lot, Cancer, I start having a bunch of air trying to come forward. So I'm trying not to belch in front of y'all <laughs> like an animal. But, uh, Cancer, now let's see what's going on, like how this is going to pan out for you guys this week. Strength card. Alrighty. So this is my shadow work card, darling. You're still continuing in the path of healing. So you're not quite done healing. You still got some stuff to tend to, uh, Cancer. So be kind to yourself this week. Um, if you still need to take some time away from everybody and just to just, you know, mentally reset, emotionally reset with those, some things, um, you know, don't be afraid to take the time for yourself still uh this card says same spiel though number 11 for numerology as well as uh, ariel uh this card says great inner strength releasing harsh judgments and forgiveness and compassion so yeah this is just more so in the sense of like through this healing that you've been going through cancer um this is just like i i don't know i feel like you're reopening up to some other energy uh for you five of wands in the reverse this is so reflective on as to uh, Scorpio's reading. And I was using different cards for Scorpio. <laughs> so I don't know if this person or there's some other Scorpio involved in your life, Cancer, but it's coming in so similar to Scorpio's reading, where it's just like something that four swords as well, healing. This five of wands as well, I didn't even get into it because I was just like, oh my gosh, honey, Scorpio's reading. Five of wands comes in normally in the upright where it's kind of like, I mean, y'all see these people, these be they're beating each other with sticks, honey, with those wands. So in the inverted, it shows to me uh, coming together. Four of swords comes in as like healing. So I feel like you guys weren't speaking. If this is about a person, like you guys didn't. There was some roughness at one point. Ace of Cups coming into you, opening up again to this further in the Hermit in the reverse. I mean, Scorpio, doesn't this kind of like spell it out itself? Don't you think? These cards kind of like tell the same story. I just called you Scorpio, Cancer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to stop mentioning Scorpio's reading, but it is just so uncannily similar. Um, yeah. But I, again, I really want to emphasize with this, Cancer, I don't feel like this is the thing that you guys have been adjusting from for the past few weeks. I feel like it was part of because you've been doing the shadow work and releasing things, you kind of, you know, just naturally with the hanged man that you had beforehand, right? You're seeing things from that different perspective and you're able to realize things that you thought were like a dead end or like lost all hope, something you actually came back to. But I feel like you only get this perspective because of the shadow work that you've been going through. Um from this other situation cancer so yeah take that as you will cancer now let's get into your honey oh, i need to itch my head honey i love this hat darling because it's just uh, matching everything that i need to i had this itch to the dress darling but uh cancer now let's get into your romantic and social relationships right so romantic platonic darling so it could be your work family and it doesn't have to just be those love interests so you guys get the Queen of Fire, Queen of Wands coming in for you, Cancer. The 
this card says stretching your wings and flying again you have this card before where it's like this connection you're just feeling motivated through some type of confirming what I from the general portion someone has you feeling inspired darling and someone like I feel like some type of opportunity is presenting itself to you through some social interaction of something that you could like I don't know it's like you have the opportunity to I feel like pick up and go somewhere so uh, let's get clarifiers. King of Cups in the reverse. Okay, why is this here though? Knight of Cups in the reverse. And the Ace of Swords. You're just seeing something before that. And I feel like it's related to this person again. <laughs> Cancer, you like before you really like had saw no potential in this person beforehand. Seven of Swords, you didn't trust this energy. You weren't open, you weren't receptive to this energy at all at one point. But with this Ace of Swords here, you're see like you're seeing this, you're appreciating this in a different way. I don't know how, like, I know I'm being repetitive in this way, Cancer, but it's just this sense here where it's like this person that you was like your enemy at one point, just to be dramatic, right? Um, someone that you just really didn't hold in that much regard beforehand. Now you're like planning of like a whole thing with them like opening like a business or like going on a road trip moving i keep on getting the sense of like some cancer is like becoming roommates with someone i don't know um but yeah i mean you know i want to look into this how is this person like what is this person like nine of swords in the reverse anxiety eight of cups in the reverse yeah even from this person's end uh cancer four of wands this person um I feel like your feelings were mutual at one point. Y'all didn't like each other, right? Y'all weren't sure about each other. But now there's like, I don't know if you both just like matured or whatever happened with that Ten of Swords inverted for you, Cancers, through some type of conversation. Maybe y'all just talked it out, honey, right? But there's like this realization that you guys are able to do something really fun together, um, I feel. So yeah, now, uh, Cancer, let's get into your financial and career situation this week. Let's see how, what's going on there, darling. Uh, we have the Five of Fire, Five of Wands coming in here. So this is where the obstacles are coming in, honey. So your finances, huh? Uh, this card says competing goals, uh, bothersome details and conflict with others. So let's get into this. The Wheel of Fortune, the Fool card in the reverse coming in here as well as the two of pentacles can give me one more we have the knight of pentacles coming in here so i'm getting like this resistance like the biggest blockage that my cancers have been going through is really picking up like a different hobby or i don't want to say hobby picking up a different way of creating money so i don't know can this i guess more so speaks on my cancers that have been resistant into looking for a new job or been resistant to uh pushing themselves right really going out of their comfort zone with the knight of pentacles um and the fool card in the reverse it's like this very strong resistance to um changing things up uh cancer and i can't help but feel like this is more so like an internal thing it's something i'm just getting i'm just getting like this sense of where it's like i don't know cancer it's like someone suggests to you and being like oh hey cancer have you ever considered you know being a bartender and you always just would tell people it'd be like oh no i'm never going to be a bartender i don't have the personality for it right um even when it, if it comes to like the moving things i want to just keep going back i feel like some cancers are moving like um if you're going moving into this new area um maybe beforehand you're always just like now i wouldn't be able to handle it i'm not ready for that journey but i feel like you guys are opening up to it a lot more cancer and i feel like it's going to be really prosperous for you so um yeah cancer that is the reading that i have for you this week i hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you if you did be sure to leave me a comment and let me know which cards did give me a like if you did enjoy this video uh cancer remember i have my giveaway going on that's associated with my discord honey all this stuff to that will be down below if you'd like to book up a personal reading with me cancer uh, my website is simplyvelka.com if you would like to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram darling tiktok all the social medias it's simply velka all of it's just simply velka if you have a friend that's into tarot cancer or even if they're not send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well but until next time cancer i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future but until then i love you so much